Okay, so this one's asking us to find the exact value for sine alpha plus beta, but we're given some information here. We're given that sine alpha is 3 eighths in quadrant two, and cosine beta is 12 thirteenths quadrant number four. First thing we have to do is figure out uh, what the formula is. We want to write the formula using the sum formula that we talked about earlier for sine of alpha plus beta. So if we take those formulas and apply it with these variables alpha and beta, we're going to get this. So sine alpha plus beta, that's equal to sine alpha uh, cosine beta plus cosine alpha sine beta. That's the formula, that's the uh, summation formula we're using for that one. Now, in order to do this, we had to have values given to plug in for all these. We're given sine alpha and cosine beta, so we actually have the first two. We know that's 3 eighths and 12 thirteenths. However, we don't know what these two are. Now, in order to find these, we're going to have to actually work with some triangles to figure those out. That's actually why they give you these different quadrants, so you can draw some triangles and get the answer. So first, sine alpha is 3 eighths and we're in quadrant number two. So what I'll do here is I'm gonna draw a triangle in quadrant two, and I'm gonna use my definition for sine that's opposite over hypotenuse to do that. So here's alpha, opposite is three, and hypotenuse is eight. So I need to use Pythagorean theorem to figure out the missing side there. So I'm gonna do three squared plus, I'm gonna call this I can just call this x, the missing side, and then that equals eight squared. So I get nine plus x squared equals 64. Subtract the nine and we get 55. Now when you take the square root, you get plus or minus, so we have to figure out whether we have a positive or negative. So this is where you gotta be careful, okay? This one, you wanna actually put negative square root of 55 because look what quadrant we're in. We're in the second quadrant, which means that the x value is going to have to be negative there. So we want to make sure we put the negative sign with it. Now, I left some space here because I want to go ahead and write in the values that we get for what we're looking for. We want to find cosine alpha because that's part of the formula. So cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. So I'm going to go ahead and put right here cosine alpha is equal to negative root 55 over 8. Now this wasn't originally given to us. This is just the information now we're writing down based on the triangles that we drew. So this is now a value we can put in here for cosine alpha. Let's go ahead and find uh, sine beta. Now that uh, beta, the angle, that's in quadrant number 4. So we're going to now draw a triangle in quadrant 4. This is going to be beta We'll use our definition for cosine adjacent over hypotenuse, 12 over 13. Once again, we're gonna use Pythagorean theorem. We have 12 squared, I'll just, missing side, I'll call that y, y squared, and that's gonna equal 13 squared. Uh, and we get 144 plus y squared equals 169. If we subtract that, we get 25. Uh, that uh, and then once we square root both sides we get plus or minus. Now again be careful what quadrant you're in. You're in fourth quadrant. This y value here has to be negative so we're going to put negative 5 uh, for that one. So that's the most important thing when you do these kind of problems. Make sure you get your signs correct when you do that. So again you get 25 but when you square root both sides you get plus or minus 5. We're purposely choosing negative 5 because of where it's at in that quadrant. Okay, so now we know, based on this, we want to find sine beta is either part of that formula. So sine beta, that's going to be uh, opposite over hypotenuse, negative 5 thirteenths. Okay, so we're going to do sine uh, beta, which is the other one that we need. And we know that, again, that's going to be negative 5 thirteenths from our picture. So now we have all this, let's go ahead and erase this now so we can figure out what the final answer is going to be. We have to do this this uh, triangle work first so that way we have the values themselves to put in. Okay, now, now that's complete. Let's go ahead and fill this out. So sine alpha, okay, so we just go back. Now we're just going to plug in values for all these. Cosine beta, 12 thirteenths. 
cosine alpha, that was negative root 55 over 8. And then sine beta was negative 5 thirteenths. So now we're just going to combine this together. Okay, we have a, a common denominator we can do here. We're going to do 36 plus 5 root 55 we have there uh, on top. These are not like terms, so we're just going to leave it like that. On the bottom, we have 104. So this would be your exact value. So remember, if it says exact value, this is what they want. They want something in a fraction form with the radicals that are there, so you don't want to put decimals for these.